Wow, it's been 19 days since this swarm was put in this box. Been feeding these bees sugar water. I put it in a two liter bottle and about a half a bag of sugar. And they're eating me out of house and home. Almost fed them four times already. I'm gonna light my smoker with this propane torch. Shoot the fire right in that little hole. Getting these pine needles glowing. Well, let's see how these bees are doing. They haven't been fed for a couple days and the sugar's all gone, but they're still up there looking for more. Let's see if the queen's on the bottom of this cover. Do you see her? I think we're clear. Wow, there's quite a few bees in here. Let's give them a little smoke to make sure they stay away. Look at that. The first frame out and it's starting to be drawn out and they're filling it at the same time. Theoretically that's a little bit of sugar water and some nectar. And another one. Wow that was just bald bare foundation and there's even eggs in there. This queen's been going crazy. This is frame number three. Wow, more eggs. They look like they're a little larger. And there's some cat brood and some of that burr come. And it's full of all kinds of pollen. Wow, that looks like indoor carpet. That is all baby bees, capped over, ready to hatch any day now. Each one of them frames could be two to three frames worth of bees when they hatch out. Oh, wow, that's another one. And look, there's black dots in between. They're putting nectar in the empty spaces. Wow three of them so far. That's a lot of bees. So that could be anywhere from six to maybe nine frames of bees when they hatch out. There's some more brood and more sugar. Well, I'm getting the idea. I think they might need some more space. What? Even more eggs. Yes, definitely. I think they need space. I know a lot of times I jump ahead and give them space before they really need it. But three to nine frames of bees. Oh, I think I'm getting excited. So what we're going to do is give them some space. Take out some of this honey stuff and put it in a box all by itself. And then this stuff that's down here left we're going to separate a little bit and put some empty frames in between the brood. That way the bees have more space to grow. And they should be able to do it. Draw out some more comb. We'll give them a little head start with this one that's already been started previously to so try some other bees. We'll sneak one more in here. This one's nothing really on it. Because we got nice warm days, they should draw this out just as fast. It's 
today is like May 21st uh, or something. This is the burr comb that they use to get up into the feeder. I'm going to put that up on the top. That way they can reuse that like a little ladder. It's got a little bit of nectar in there too. going to give them this other frame that's been drawn out a little bit too. Put it up in the top. Help them get started. Now I got two more empty frames of foundation and we'll see how they do. Now I'm starting to think maybe I should give them more sugar water just to help make things go faster. What do you think? Or should they just do it on their own? Thanks for watching.